Good morning. It's day number 159. Yesterday I walked 34,433 steps. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Man, I can't wait to share these challenges with y'all. Yesterday was a test. Like if you ever were prepared for a test and you were about to be tested, yesterday was the day. But it's okay. You know, we stay resilient in this. There's no getting knocked off course. There is no, I'm going to start over at day number one. We just keep going because there's an understanding here that consistency is everything. And if you play with consistency, well, you're just playing a game. It's no game here for me. I mean, I make it like a game. Well, if you noticed, we're not in Vegas anymore. We are in Dallas, Texas. And I'm at the Hyatt Regency today. A different hotel than the one that I showed up to from my airport and waited a couple hours to get into only to find that they were sold out and the room wasn't booked for me. I assure you, I may have said this in another video, but if you pray for patience, you will get examples, constant examples on ways that you can be more patient. You know, there's no way nowadays knowing that you can pray for a certain situation and understand that you'll absolutely get it. <laughs> it actually makes me laugh. It makes me smile because I know that God's got me, like no question about it. Uh, every single hotel that was in the immediate area of the hotel I'll be working at in the convention space was sold out and somehow some way this hotel here was available to Hyatt Regency so it worked out client came over booked the room with their card and everything so I really can't complain I I filmed three videos yesterday three videos and then I tried my hardest to get about. I filmed three videos and got done filming those three videos at five o'clock in the morning, Pacific. Uh, I got one of them out before I left. My flight was at 1 p.m. Pacific yesterday. And I just I was getting everything together, eating my ground beef uh, at the, the breakfast bar and just working on my laptop, just working on getting that content out. And I got the video from my wife out. Yesterday was my 19 year anniversary. And it's just a really special video to make. I mean, you can see I'm just smiling throughout the whole thing because I'm thinking about my wife and how happy I am to have her. And that video, I, I got it out right before I left. I, I mean, I hit the button to post it right before I closed my laptop, threw it in my bag and went to the airport. And then came the next video, which was on the plane. And I had a guy in front of me. He was a little too big for the seat. So he kept readjusting. And I thought he was going to snap my laptop in half. Fortunately, that didn't happen. But I thought it was going to happen. So that was a challenge in itself. But by the time the plane landed, I had that video and the third video edited. I watched the video back and I realized is yesterday's video from my wife, I cut it, or I filmed two different iterations and I realized when I mixed them together, I had uh, repeated some of the same thing, but it's okay. Like that's letting me know that we don't have to be perfect with this. You know, I'm still figuring this out. I'm very transparent about that. I'm not claiming to be a professional at this but there's no way I won't show up every single day. There's just no way. We we'll finally got the last video scheduled to post today at 4 a.m. Pacific at 11 o'clock p.m. I think this is central time. 
And then I went to sleep. And guess when my alarm went off? 3 a.m. You know who woke up? Said a quick prayer. That he's happy to be awake. Right here. And here I am, out walking again. Remember, this video isn't about me. This video is for you. This video is for you. I want to show you what the power of consistency is. I want to show you. Yesterday, I looked up some examples of videos where people walked 20,000 steps. Some of them did it for seven days. Some of them did it for 30 days. Some of them did it for 60 days. Here I am on day 159 in a row. And I'm going to keep going. You're going to see a two in front of that. You're going to see a three in front of that. You're going to see a five in front of that. And I'm talking about 300, 400, 500. That day, you're going to see that this guy just does not quit. He shows up. And I can do the same. Because we are the same. We're similar. We're people with similar problems, similar frustrations, and we can come out on top if we really put our mind to it. Man, I'm so, so grateful to bring in these updates every single day. You know, I'm going to be consistent, and I hope that you're thinking about starting a journey to become consistent yourself. We're all going to face challenges. Every last one of us. The question is, what are we going to do when they present themselves in our way? Are we going to smile and push on? Or are we going to curl up in a ball and say, you know what, man? This one is just a little too heavy. You know, I, is that can't word going to come out? Is that trying word going to come out? Or are you going to continue to be a doer? Are you going to continue to just not take no for an answer from yourself? That word's not in my vocabulary anymore when it comes to me, when it comes to attacking my goals with ferocity. You know, I said it before, I'll say it again. You know, I, I do value my sleep, but at the same time, there's no way, there's no galaxy where I'm not going to work on this goal every single day. It's just not going to happen. I'm dedicated. Like, that's it. I'm not starting over again. I'm going to keep this going. I'm going to see the changes that I want to see. When are you going to see the changes that you want to see? When are you going to say enough is enough? That's it. No more starting over. No more sticking my toe in the water. I'm jumping in. I don't care what the temperature is. And I'm staying in there until the changes that I need to make, the changes that I need to see, are realized. When is that day for you? That day came for me 159 days ago. And I hope you see it sooner than later. Because once you do, you'll understand how powerful it really is. You'll understand how powerful you really are and how you can be an example to the people around you. All of us are just another human being. No matter how much money we have, no matter what kind of job we, we have or what kind of car we drive or house we live in, we're all so similar. We're all so similar. Just a regular guy walking in some regular shoes along a regular path. And the coolest thing about this journey is all I need is a pair of shoes, a nice, comfortable pair of socks. I did, I did invest a little bit in some socks. I think these socks from Features are like 16 or $17 a pair. But I've been using them every day. I've been using my camera gear every day and I'm so proud of myself for that because before it was just sitting collecting dust. You know, that was another thing I bought that I didn't use. Like what? Thousands of dollars in gear was just sitting 
for a couple of years. I have another 360 camera that when I was on my journey in Lancaster, California, I used it once or twice. I could have been doing this during the pandemic. This channel would have exploded during the pandemic because people were afraid and I could have showed them that they could come outside. I could have showed them that. I could have started this YouTube channel, but I was afraid. I was afraid of what everyone else would think and afraid about how I looked. I can't believe it. I am unafraid now. There's nothing that's gonna stop me from getting up every single day and doing this. I love the changes that I'm seeing. I want that for you so bad. And you can realize this too. You really can realize this too. So if you're working toward a goal, if you have a different picture in your mind about how things should be, this is your sign to start on it today. Today, not tomorrow, today. You don't have to put it off. Understand something that if something catastrophic happened to you today and you were lucky enough to live and come back from it in a week or two, I promise you, you would look at life differently. You have the luxury of looking at it like that right now. You can act as if something catastrophic happened and you need to make a 180 degree change right now. You can pretend. Let's go back to being kids. Back to pretending with our hands and small objects that there's something else. That we're creating this story in our mind. You know, that we're cowboys and Indians, cops and robbers. That this right here is some tea and we're handing it off to someone else and we're waiting for him to drink it. How about that conviction? That's the kind of conviction I got for this. I really do. So look, I would love for you to do something great for yourself. If you want a little accountability, let me know what you're gonna do in the comments. You know, it's just between me and you. I just wanna see you start. That's all, I just wanna see you start. This is my 159th day of starting. I'm just saying, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do it again. I would love to see you on your journey. I'd love to see you start it. I've got a video or two more to make today and I'm so excited about it. I'm a YouTuber, man. I'm a YouTuber. I'm looking forward to the day that when someone asks me what I do, I say I'm a YouTuber. I don't say I travel for work. I don't say I'm a low voltage contractor. I say, I am a YouTuber. Here's my account handle. I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. I've got over 100,000 in my tribe and they're all on some type of self-improvement journey. So until the next video, I hope this inspires you to get going and I hope that you start something valuable for you on your journey. Until next time, I'm Brandon Alexander. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.